Products in here. Four wasn't lying when he said millions. Whoa, so this is where my sleep paralysis demon takes me in my dreams. What? You know, this financial irresponsibility of yours will come to hurt you in the long run. I'm in massive debt. According to Miss Poloni, if he was alive, we could have won the contest. Idiots, I am still alive, and also, do you just seem as a tool? <laughs> no, 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 wait! I'm not a Why I am, like, leaving you for a loser. No! And, and I'm taking the kids! <laughs> Just looking at that figure of yours, you sure as heck ain't blessed. I'm so glad Taco's gone. But, but, what about your character development? Character development holds nothing against my AK-47! What's wrong? You look depressed. I just don't know where my co-host is. Oh, I know where X is. He's dead. No! Hey man, could you pass me my drink? Yeah, dog, I got you. <laughs> LOL, Lily thinks we're doing our senior quotes together. Sandwiches. <laughs> no, that's still great regardless, though. A welcome to Perth sign painted on a building rooftop is scaring passengers landing at Sydney Airport. That's just a great prank, though. My sister used to do this to her nails and scratch people at school because she really does hate everyone she meets. And that takes a lot of work, turning your nails into little claw saws. You can invent a disease that doesn't hurt anybody, only pisses them off or inconveniences them. What are you coming up with? A disease where the person constantly has the sensation that there's a single hair in their mouth at all times. Evil! A completely flat floor designed to get kids to slow down. Oh god, it's just gonna make me vomit, man. Go to hell is basic. I hope your favorite book gets a really bad live adaptation is smart, it's possible, it's terrifying. I'm still waiting for the Warrior Cats live action series. My little brother, struggling to find any end of the blanket. Me who cut the blanket into a Mobius strip. You evil bastard. My daughter asked why she can't just quit school. And I told her it's against the law and they'll put me in jail. And my sweet, sweet child looked me in the eye and said, I'll visit you. It's a small price to pay for no school. Someone literally died on my flight today, so we made an emergency landing and everyone missed their connections. The guy behind me was complaining, saying, that was an emergency if they're already dead. And I'd just like to say that you, sir, are the devil. No way, Ricky, Ricky, the guy may have a point here. If I have identical twins, I'm naming them uh, Gif and Jif, but I'm gonna pronounce it differently. 
So not GIF and GIF, not GIF and GIF, you're just gonna... Never mind. Individually wrapped $100 in singles for their brother? Oh, uh, that took me a second to wrap my brain around. Wakey, wakey, hands off steaky! Yesterday, my colleague called me a book murderer because I cut long books in half to make them more portable. Does anyone do this or is it just me? Definitely just you. One of my favorite things to do with my group of guy friends is to give them my leftover bag of cookies, but leave just one less for them all to get one. They're fighting over them right now. One of them doesn't even like sweets. It's a matter of pride. My son was being an asshole, so I deep fried his Optimus Prime. I'm gonna do this to Zax. People who scream red during a Kahoot game even though they know it's green and 14 people get it wrong. <laughs> New bubble wrap will no longer pop when you squeeze it. Yeah, you have to poke it with a knife. All right, I'm just gonna say it. I always eat the other person's fries on the way home and then keep the fuller one for myself. <gasps> you son of a... I've been building my son's trust for two years with high fives. Today, I'm gonna hit him with a too slow. Welcome to the real world, son. Instant power outlet prank stickers. Please don't litter. Set Wi-Fi password to 244-66666-888-8888. So when your friend asks for the password, just tell them it's 12345678. <laughs> whoever did this is pure evil. No, whoever did that is pure funny. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Make a wish and others will choose the consequences. I wish to own all the Lego on my wish list. There's a piece missing from every kit. Not an important piece, but just notable enough to bug you every time you look at it. Evil. My son is terrified of the Loch Ness Monster right now. Absolutely terrified. Keeps asking me questions about it. Can it get out of the lock? Is the lock far away, etc.? No idea where he even heard about it. I told him it can drive and could be in our town in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Someone at my high school decided to bend all the locks on the bathroom stalls so we can't lock the doors. What a f***ing loser. Just bring a pair of needle nose pliers in and bend them back. He's got a mailbox and everything. Oh my god. Lucky guy. Wonder if he gets his packages on time. It's fun to chant Bloody Mary into your car's side mirror three times and watch her jog and try to keep up. Oh, I got it. That, I don't know why that took me a second. I think I'm dumb. Being a dick even to demons. Graffiti artists have moved a door of a train. Oh man, that's just nice. I caught a sea bass. No, wait, it's at least a C plus. I have a fish named Gerald who I hate so much, I put him in a tank on the beach. He's so close to the ocean, but can never reach it. I feel like that fish would die immediately out there. Nobody will notice. You sneaky little genius, you. I don't want to die a virgin. Done. Nothing happened. You are immortal now. Oh god. Wait. You can create your own vault. What's your vault number, and what's the experiment conducted in the vault? Vault 404. Everyone shows up in the bomb's fall, and there's no vault there. Or maybe there's a door, but there's nothing behind it. The thinnest building in Beirut is called Al Baasa, Arabic for the grudge. I probably didn't say that right. It's only two feet wide, at its smallest point, and only exists because a guy wanted to block his brother's view of the ocean. What a dick. I mean, no, what a dick. If I was a famous actor and had a horde of fangirls, I would stay single, and every time an interviewer asked me about my love life, I'd answer, there's this one girl I saw at a meeting with fans. I don't know her name because of all the fuss with the autographs, and I've only seen her once, but I'm in love with her. I'd say that looking all sad and lonely. Imagine all the fangirls' faces. Just calm down there a second, Satan. I erased the original comment, so you're left wondering how I got over 13,000 likes. Sh if someone was covered in paper cuts and you threw them into a pool of lemon juice, how long do you think it would take them to die? What circle of Dante's Inferno did you crawl out of? What if you rolled their body in salt first? Easy there, Satan. Margarita of pain. A murderita. First intermission poll. What's the best meat for an egg sandwich? Bacon. Chicken. That way you get to eat both the parent and the child in one sandwich. I've been waiting for the perfect time to change my Netflix password so my ex can't use it anymore, and it doesn't really get much better than a national lockdown. <laughs> Halloween is almost here, and you know what that means. Time to start making this year's batch of chocolate-coated peas. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm, nasty. Silver, $75 a plate. Two hours at dinner, matching jokes. Oh, is this a uh, fake date service for weddings? I'm married and I want to book her, but everyone will immediately know she's bullshitting, but I'll make her stay in character. My god, you're a perfect monster. Oh, I see. Where are you? I'm coming ho home. Home. Home! Home! Piece of shit. <laughs> Oops. Whoever created this card needs to chill. Take discard pile? Damn, that's legit evil. Saying, do I smell popcorn right after you fart so everybody takes a big deep breath? <laughs> I shat in your nose. Asking for help on Reddit. Yep, 
Do you have any advice? Nope. That's just a lot of threads regarding help and issues. In 2012, a Chicago man bought a car for $600, registered it in his ex-girlfriend's name, then parked it at O'Hare Airport and racked up 678 parking tickets totaling $100,000. There's no way they would have let it sit at an airport for long enough for the, unless each ticket was like 80 grand, you know? There's no way. There's no way. They would have towed it after a certain point, man. 700 tickets?